With a total of eight different manufacturer types, 18 separate models, two classes and a packed grid of 29 cars, this has improved production car racing at its best. It's one of the fastest growing categories in Australia and for the WA players it's been a rapid rise to a very successful class with a great range of machines and super competitive racing up and down the field. Yeah, it's a great variety because uh, kept together by the, the, the rules themselves so um, you can compete a rotary versus a V8 versus a turbo car because uh, the rules keep them quite close, so good racing. The action would kick off with qualifying and race one on Saturday. After grabbing pole, Kevin Ledger on board his WRX would take the points for race one. With Ashley Barnett second, Kerry Wade third, Matt Cherry's Monaro in fourth, and Rotary man Gary Hassler fifth spot in the RX-7. The under two litre class and the number 27 Mirage of Colin Harper would be first across the line. Jim Gellin's Mark II Escort second, Steve Lee, Peter Howard and Jeff Duckworth all grabbing valuable points. After a dry first day, Sunday would loom wet and slippery for the crews. And if the conditions weren't challenging enough, this category also supports a reverse grid format. This to open the proceedings for the second day. Using four-wheel drive to advantage, Warren Phillip Clark would get a great start and put his legacy into the lead, but throw most of it away going off on the first corner. As the field came around for the first lap, the legacy would still be out front. However, the big guns would be on a charge. Wade in the Evo 9, threading his way through to be second, with the lead car well and truly in his sights. As the cars came back in view of the fans, Wade had taken the race lead and would hold this to the flag, winning by a massive 16 seconds. Brilliant wet weather drive by under two litre campaigner Colin Harper would net the Mitsubishi man a very well deserved second outright after starting well down the grid in the reverse format. Kevin Ledger, another of the front runners to get through the pack well. He would do enough to take third and second in the over two litre class. Jim Gellin in the Mark II Escort, good work for fourth. Peter Howard, after cranking it very sideways on the opening lap, taking fifth. This class is very well known for the battles up and down the grid. This two-way Monaro fight being joined by another V8 and the Commodore of Brett Stewart, eager to get involved. Wade, Ledger, Barnett, Major and Stewart, race two's top five. And a great example of diversity of this category. Evo, WRX, 200SX, Rotary and V8, a fantastic mix of makes and models. The under two litre runners equipping themselves very well. Colin Harper and his Mirage taking race two. Gallen, Howard, Lee and Seawood making up the top five. After a patch of reasonably dry weather in the middle of the day, Almost on cue, the conditions turned ugly for the third and final hit out. Favourites to take out the trophy, a first and third each so far, Wade and Ledger used their four wheel drive advantage and made a blistering start. Wade taking the lead on the first corner, only to have a turbo blow inside the first lap, ending his day. As Ledger slipped by, it would now just be a matter of getting to the flag in one piece. That easier said than done. Two laps in and dramas would bring out the yellow flag, an effects camera catching the action. After a great day, Colin Harper would put the Mirage off in the standing water, joined shortly by two more competitors. The damaged cars cleared, the heavy rain now stopped, it was green flags for the field. Ledger getting away cleanly, leaving a great little battle just behind, with Cherry in the Monaro and the Majors RX-3 working hard for that spot. The traction level was still very low, making it extremely difficult to stay on track, let alone on all four wheels. This off resulting in a red flag and safety car conditions again. Normally with just a few laps remaining, the race would be called. However, with the Tanda Trophy up for grabs, organisers opted to regrid the field. A two lap dash to the flag would now decide the final race. Ledger making no mistake, taking the third. At day's end, Ledger would take the GT Tanda Trophy. Major second, Sean Farrell third, Wade and Barnett making up the top five. In the under two litre class, Jim Gellin. Green in the Fiesta second, Howard, Lee and Harper third to fifth. 